Well, good Tuesday morning. We are finally starting to see that rain and that line of showers and storms moving through parts of our area. So we're just going to jump right into it just as fast as it's been falling. Looking at our radar, you can see there's a lot to talk about. And if we do take a closer look, you can see along I-55 into southeast Missouri, Perryville, I-55 continuing down to Jackson, Cape Dorado, Scott City. We're looking at these heavier showers, even some thunder showers now. You can just see Chester Route 3 continuing. This is going to continue to go north, northeast. You can see Route 127, I, uh, Route 51, Carbondale. We're already starting to see some showers moving through the area, continuing to track again to the east northeast as well. Even further down south, Sykeston, East Prairie, New Madrid, just seeing these heavier showers. You can see some purple in there as well. There are special weather statements in place for these lines of showers and storms, primarily for the winds gusting at times over 50 miles per hour. You can get some damaging winds, of course, out of that. So if you have any Halloween decorations out there, well, I hope they're not getting tossed around too badly, but you can see all across even our Tennessee counties there after Tiptonville continuing to track north sorry, to the east. Uh, Union City is going to be next here. There, 51 I-69. And this is a huge system that we are still tracking. It's not even fully here yet. The low pretty much still off to our west of our viewing area. But as we go through the day today, we're going to continue to see that track to our area. So here we are afternoon. Most of us by now should be seeing that line of showers and storms. It's possible a few windy gusty winds out there as well. Here we are 2 o'clock. That now advances further to the east, now affecting most of our western Kentucky counties as well. Behind it, here's that low starting to come about 5 p.m. We're already starting to see a little bit of a clear out. Most of us should have already seen the heaviest of the showers, and if we do have any severe storms, it would be into the afternoon hours. But then we get into the evening hours. We have a few more showers that linger even into the early morning hours Wednesday. Once that gets out of the region, we are clearing out and drying out. But there is a little bit of a severe threat, as I just mentioned. The Storm Prediction Center giving us a level one, this area highlighted in green. That's a one out of five, pretty low on the scale. But our counties down to the south here in western Kentucky and parts of our counties into Tennessee seeing that level two, that slight risk, that area in yellow. Again, that's a two out of five, still pretty low, but primarily for damaging winds. And you can't rule out even a brief tornado, but that window of opportunity is closing in pretty soon. But looking at our rainfall potential, at least an inch for most of us picking up more rainfall across parts of our out of our viewing area off to the west, but not going to be enough to end that drought, I think. But the rain overall is much needed. And now if we take a look across most of our area, we've seen at least a few showers moving through. Eventually those showers will transition over to that heavier line of uh, showers and storms, something that we really need. So taking a look at our threat tracker, of course today we are keeping that up there in the moderate levels, tracking rain and storms. Tonight those showers and storms will start to exit. We'll notice that cool down, clear out. Then as we go into Wednesday, we are lowering that tracker bar and we're going to be looking dry. So you should download that Storm Track 3 app because we're going to be tracking all of this for us, especially this cool down. After that rain gets out of the way, that low gets out of here. We get those winds from the northwest cooling us down and drying us out as we go over the next few days. So look at these forecasted high temperatures. Today, we're going to be into those lower 70s, but by the midweek, we're going to be into those lower 60s, jumping up a little bit as we get into the weekend, tracking our next chance of rain. So looking ahead, we are staying dry Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, seeming to be the next days of rain with a potential possibility there for our Monday, seeing an isolated shower too, but that's still pretty far out. But of course you have Monday being Halloween and Sunday, of course, is the weekend of Halloween. So I don't know, you might want to get the rain boots out and the umbrellas yet again. Absolutely. But you know, I don't think too many people can complain. Maybe the trick or treaters, but you know, the adults, we really need this rain. Yeah. I mean, our crops really need it still. <laughs> All right.